use some terms very commonly in private practice. First of all, what is a strep throat? Strep throat is a, an infection in the back of the throat by a germ called beta hemolytic group A strep. And is it dangerous or not dangerous? The infection itself is pretty much self-limited. It is not dangerous as it is. However, some people get very high fever, some of them get very ill, but the main justification for treating it is that the body sometimes produces a very extreme immune response that causes trouble. Is it a child under two and a half, is it more dangerous or less dangerous? Since the problem that pushes us to treat strep is rheumatic fever, rheumatic fever does not occur under two years of age. So for that reason, a patient with strep can be left untreated since his own body's defenses will kill it. They'll knock it out and he will survive it fine. But if uh, the child's a little older, we're not sure exactly what the cutoff is. Most people feel that if they're over two, they should be treated. Okay, if you don't treat the strep in a kid, say, two, three, four years old, they build up antibodies. Are these antibodies good or bad? Antibodies are always good. It's good for you to have antibodies. Those are the products of the immune system that helps defend us from infection. So we have antibodies to lots of different things, chicken pox, cold viruses, they always defend us. But our antibodies to strep, unfortunately, are not so good at defending us. They help us fight off an infection, but they don't always protect us from the next infection. Can the antibodies to strep do other things besides protect you against strep? In older children, probably over the age of two, there are occasions where the antibodies can actually go haywire and attack parts of the child's own body. The most commonly known part is the heart, that the antibody can attack the heart in a disease called rheumatic fever. It can also attack the joints, it can also attack the brain, it can also attack the skin. So whenever that kind of attack occurs, it's called an autoimmune response. That means an antibody that ch the, the child's body is producing that instead of protecting them is actually attacking themselves.